those are heading into the weekend, so you guys probably want to say, "Let's what's what's going to happen with Bitcoin and crypto?" Uh, Bitcoin. I have been noticing, of course, if this um, if this kind of thinking is for real, and we should get a little bit of a counter trend rally through the first week or two of October here. We probably should see Bitcoin catch a bid. You know, this is the same thing that we said there earlier. Is this really a good place for you to step in shorting? I don't think so. Of anything, bottom end of the range. This is like Paul, top end of the range. Interesting how that level corresponds. Uh, I get the impression that we're going through a pattern like this. I don't know whether you can see this or not something like that so keep this image in mind and then let's pop on over and look at the bitcoin chart does that look somewhat familiar looks pretty close to me so you know we had a low we rallied away from the low they came down they washed the lows then they're putting in like w's down in here I mean, maybe we puke out and head down to new lows, but I get the funny feeling you're going to see something like this. I think this is what's going to be in front of us. And ironically enough, that would actually correspond perfectly with this scenario here. In essence, this is exactly the same image, but this is the stock market, and that's Bitcoin. And I actually think Bitcoin's still a leading indicator. So you can clearly see there's a hell of a fight down here. And isn't it interesting that you know, if you actually ask the public about Bitcoin and crypto, they're not really that interested. Uh, if anything, that all I hear is Do Kwan and you know, scam this and scam that and all that kind of stuff. So if anything, it makes perfect sense that uh, we go and bottom against the bottom end of the range here, then we rally up, get everybody raw raw bullish again, and then and then break it um that's like a, what, an hour and a half two hour chart kind of idea we look at the dailies um i still actually like you know i think we can rally away from those lows but then into that end of october i still like something like that or a nice little f you against all these lows i do like the idea that this whole area of the profile has to be filled in exactly how it gets filled in ah it's a mugs game i would say that uh that is your key support you know look left from the whole damn bull market that's really where the last major institutional fingerprint is and then the little breakout of that zone uh, i think grim even likes to uh sort of teach the level oneers that there is your trade window right in that area there. So that's basically banging up against that pog. Here's the thing, though, right? I mean, you see how far we are. We have come down a long way. So do you really want to get too nitpicky about exactly where you're going to, quote, unquote, call the bottom? Um. You know, we have a rule in trading, and I think this is a pretty good example where, you know, this sort of top 5% up here, and really I hate to say it, but probably that 5% down here, we don't even really, we don't want to try and get into the prediction business that this is where it's going to pivot. What we really want is we want this chunk in the middle. And then, of course, you know, if we're really lucky and we apply, you know, if we apply the same logic here and we say, you know, we're not going to really try and pick this low down here because this is, it's just, it's too difficult. Or even for this matter, you know, maybe when we get up into this area, right, we're not going to really try and call the tops. We're going to try and grab this middle part right there. Um, but, you know, if you did come in and grab some off of the bottom there and then 
maybe you let half of it go on a test of these highs and put your stop at scratch on the remaining. Well, that remaining, if you have the patience and discipline not to touch it, that remaining can go up substantially, right? And this is like gravy payday kind of stuff. So I might argue that that's the same sort of thing that we're in right now is, I don't know whether, you know, it even behooves you to try and overthink this. And trust me, of course, you know, all the sharp traders, I'm a killer trader, look at me. They're going to be like, yeah, I can call pot tops and bottoms. But, you know, as we, as we clearly saw through all of this, I mean, everybody in the public was like, this time it's different, we're going to the moon. And they couldn't have been more wrong. So do you really want to get into the business of trying to predict knowing that you're probably going to be wrong? Or do you just want to simply say, look at, uh, you know, and this is basically Brian Beamish 101. Uh, are we at or below reload zones? And I want to buy Bitcoins uh, for my retirement, for my kids, whatever. Uh, I mean, if we're at this level, I have no problem whatsoever. You just start coming in and just dollar cost averaging. And you don't know where you're going to ultimately find your bottom is but i've told you time and time again that usually these damn things the w eventually comes in off that damn 78.6 and i said this to you guys before right is you all got to give yourselves a big pat on the back that you didn't get sucked into this stupid shill and and go and blow up your future by mortgaging your house and all that kind of bull up here when everybody's like it's going to the moon if you have the patience and discipline to just ride it out and you still like this bitcoin story man it's time to declare victory and i would say you got to start getting in there and start accumulating <laughs>